Chairman, <clears throat> and as I understand, this is the first exchange of views. This is exactly to what uh, I suppose we shall proceed, and uh, for a change I shall do this in English because I was documented in English, so uh, that's the reason why uh, it shall be in Anglo-Saxon uh, this time. Um, I just wanted to outline um, for our discussion a few, a few major points uh, that, I, that I think are relevant when, um, uh, when considering the proposed um, uh, financial transactions uh, tax, which I shall refer to as FTT in order to save both, both breath and time um, during the few minutes that um, are going to come. Um, I, I, I take it we all know uh, what it is supposed to apply to. Um, financial transactions in the proper sense of the word not those transactions that, um, that uh, each and every one of us has to, has to do in their, uh, in their private lives and uh, also not consumer or company credit uh, and the likes. Now, the reason why we're giving an opinion, I suppose, is that uh, we deem this to be relevant to the functioning of the single market. Uh, and we also cannot, in the opinion, um, write anything that would not be uh, relevant to the single market. This is, um, this is important to the last items that I, uh, that I want to. Uh, share with you. Now, the Commission has um, annexed to its proposal a, uh, an impact study, an impact study in which it says that, uh, first of all, the, the esteemed uh, product of the tax, the, uh, the revenue, is going to be around 57 um, billion euros, whereas at the same time there would be an impact on uh, uh, the evolution of growth uh, that would be in the same order de grandeur. Uh, so this means that we would take in by ways of uh, fiscal revenue about as much as we would lose in terms of economic growth not taking place. Um, a zero product uh, uh, operation, so to speak, which leads me to believe, and uh, this is uh, something that we would have to uh, no doubt discuss with the Commission somewhat further, uh, whether it might not be sensible um, to um, also let us know what would happen if the rates were fundamentally different so that maybe we could get in a bit more than we, um, uh, than we, than we lose out in, in growth not, uh, not taking place. This is relevant in the context of what's coming now. The proposed uh, rates by the Commission were 0.1 percent on uh, financial transactions in general and 0.01 percent on derivatives uh, operations. It would be esteemed that uh, the trading derivatives in the geographical area covered by the application of the tax might drop by 70 percent. It is also esteemed that um, the um, more specific area of high frequency trading um, might suffer a drop of as much as 90 percent. Now, I'm absolutely not a fan of high-frequency trading, and I suppose that a few others uh, in here and uh, out there uh, might also not be uh, fans of that, and that leads me to believe that it might make sense for us to say, if already we are contemplating, um, we are contemplating um, uh, the disappearance of business in derivatives and high-frequency trading uh, in the dimensions of 70 or even 90 percent, it might make sense to couple that with a political statement and to say, we want this or we don't want this. Uh, and if we don't want this, we can also go higher with the rates. If we do want this, already the proposed rates are a problem. Uh, so at the end of the day, we will have to find out um, uh, how much of this sort of trade we believe is, um, is necessary, is good, and is sensible to have within, uh, within the uh, internal market. Now, there are two other... Uh, there are two other uh, committees that are going to um, uh, deliver opinions. That's DIVE and that's budget. Um, <clears throat> now, without uh, having a crystal ball at my disposal, I do believe that uh, DIVE is most likely going to say the product of this taxation, uh, this, this new taxation element, will have to be used first and foremost in order to meet the, uh, the commitments that the European Union has engaged in across the globe in terms of uh, uh, helping uh, the developing world with um, uh, climate change effect mitigation. This is something that we could only do, provided that the product of the financial transactions tax ends up in the community budget in the first place, if the union is about to do it. And this is why, as I understand it, the budget committee is going to insist very much on the necessity to make it not only a known resource, 
but in order to, for it to be able to become a known resource, also to apply it across uh, the whole territory uh, of the Union, because otherwise it cannot become uh, an own resource. And that leads me to what is, in my view, the most crucial issue for uh, the Internal Market Committee. Uh, there are discussions around um, which, as I hear, have also affected the work done in ICON so far, um, which might go in, in a direction where um, the tax would, at the end of the day, not apply throughout the whole Union, but would only be applied in the Eurozone. This is not something that ECON has invented, but uh, if you listen to the heads of government, notably Germany and uh, France, uh, the indications to that, uh, to that effect have already been rather uh, consistent. But there is no internal market of the Eurozone. There is only inter an internal market of the, uh, of the European Union as such. And that leads me to believe that uh, the, most, the most relevant thing uh, that we would have to establish here uh, is that this thing has to happen uh, in, the, um, uh, in the Union as such and not on a territory uh, in any way smaller than the European Union with its uh, internal market. The legal base for the introduction of a financial transactions tax is partly also uh, related to the improvement of the functioning uh, of the internal market and um, avoiding distortions within the internal market. Again, a reasoning which only makes sense if the thing applies to the internal market uh, as such and not to a uh, to a splinter off uh, of the same. So at the end of the day, I'd say um, there are two things that um, in, in, in my first thoughts on the matter were, were, were relevant. The first one is what I broached last, the territory of application of the tax uh, when it happens. And the second thing is considering the, uh, uh, the likely impact uh, of the taxation on certain categories of uh, financial uh, transactions and trade, um, if it would not make sense to uh, try and um, uh, combine further regulatory uh, moves with that. I don't take it, for instance, that high-frequency trading is an element that fosters the good functioning of the internal market in any way, uh, also not for financial transactions. That's what I wanted to share with you for a start, and otherwise now I'm, I'm, I'm greedy for your uh, appreciation. Thank you.